So today I would like to show you a little bit of the beta version of our newest video editing software, Loloscope 2. Um, once you start the software, you could see three different tools on your screen. On the left hand side you'll see the media browser. On the right hand side you'll see the timeline. And below the timeline you'll see the DVD and Blu-ray disc authoring tool. So you just click on the media browser and it'll zoom in and you'll be able to browse all the videos, music, and picture files that are stored onto your computer. Uh, what you could also do is plug in an SD card and you'll be able to browse all the videos and pictures on your SD card as well as back them up to your computer. So uh, you could mouse over uh, the videos inside the media browser to start a preview and you can use the mouse wheel to fast forward and rewind the videos. So once you've uh, found the video that you want to use, all you have to do is click them and they'll be displayed onto your time onto desktop. And you can also multiple select files by clicking on the bottom left box of each thumbnail to select the multiple files. So once you have the thumbnails onto your desktop, you just click on the thumbnail and then it'll automatically start playing. Um, just to trim your videos, all you have to do is move the in and out points to surround the portions of the video that you want to use. And if you want to use a different portion from the same clip, all you have to do is click on the scissor button and it'll cut out the portion that you previously selected. And so all you have to do is surround the other portion of the video that you would like to use. So once you've trimmed the videos, all you have to do is put them into the timeline and once they're once you've dragged the the videos into the timeline they'll be displayed as bars and each of the bars represent the length of the bars represents the length of the video clip so once you click on the timeline it'll start playing and as you can see right here the the two videos are overlapped and in this during this overlapped portion uh, the two videos will automatically fade And if you connect the bars end to end, the, the videos will cut into each other automatically. Um, what you could do is also select the video and change the transition style. Uh, we have various transition styles available, so you just select whichever one you would like. Um, what you could also do is select the transitions for the, the in and out separately as well. Okay, so once you've uh, added the transitions to your video, you could add text. So you just click on the text button, and a uh, 10 second long text bar will be displayed. And on the screen, it'll be displayed as a uh, type text here and white text. Just click on the text, and uh, enter whatever text you would like to enter. and the text will be entered into your video. You could uh, position your text freely by dragging and dropping the text box. Um, just like uh, videos, you could also set a transition style for your, your text as well. Um, so once you've uh, added the text and videos to your project, you could use uh, the the effects to to splice to spice up your video. Um, we have uh, various different effects available. Um, some of the unique effects for some of the unique features for effects in our software. Uh, one would be the blindfold pen and uh, you can use this to hide people or places or things that are in the video that you don't really want to show people um, so you just click start so click start and the video starts playing you just uh, click on the portion of the video that you want to hide and the effect will be applied only to the portion of the video that you've selected what you could also do is reverse the effect and select the portion of the video that you want to display and hide the rest as well. 
You can do this with every effect that is available in Lotoscope 2. Um, another effect that is unique to our software is the deco pen and deco stamp. With the deco pen, uh, while the video is playing, you could add handwritten text and messages. Like so. And the software records uh, the timing and position of where you drew the text. Our other unique effect would be the deco stamp. And with this tool, you could add uh, decorative stamps to your video. So just like the deco pen, once the video is playing, you could uh, click on the video and just draw wherever you want to add the stamp, and it'll be applied to your video. So once you've added all the effects to your video, you want to encode it. So click on the encode button and you'll see that we have very um, various uh, outcode, uh, output options. Um, for file output, um, we have the standard files, WMV, AVI, uh, QuickTime, MOV, and uh, MP4 and also MPEG2. Um, our software supports uh, NVIDIA CUDA output, so you could uh, quickly output MP4 videos using CUDA technology. And if you, you if you have a uh, Sandy Bridge Intel Sandy Bridge core processor, you could also use the Quick Sync video to output MP4 videos using um, Intel's Sandy Bridge processors. Um, we also have uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo uploads. Um, for these three web uploads, we've uh, allowed it so that you can upload videos directly from the software. And uh, just in case that the video goes over the limit for Facebook and YouTube, the software automatically splits up your video and uploads them separately. So you don't have to worry about um, length, and le uh, length of your videos and upload limits. Uh, what we also have is a camera output and with this option you could a, output a video file so that you can put it back onto your camera. And we also have a uh, output to device mode where you could a, create video files that are for each um, portable device. So we support uh, iPod, iPhone, um, mobile phones, Apple TV, PS3, and PSP. And uh, for this as well, you could use uh, the CUDA technology and you could also use the Intel technology to output um, some of these videos as well. Um, finally, we have a, we've newly added a DVD and Blu-ray authoring tool. So with Select Disk, you could select whether you want to use a uh, Blu-ray or you want to create a Blu-ray or DVD disk. Um, add the title and all you have to do is drag and drop uh, files into into the into the list and it'll show you how much space you have left and once you create the disk you could once you click create a disk you can uh, add menus and select the BGM and create your disk from the software um, so this is a simple run through of our beta version of Loyalscope 2. Um, I hope this video was helpful in helping you learn how to use our software. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy our software.